Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a share folder on Windows 10 computer to share any data with your Samsung Galaxy S21 series using the network storage option. Okay, first on your Windows 10 computer, I'm going to create a new folder to share. I'm going to delete this one. So first I'm going to delete this folder right here. And we create a new folder, so I right click in your computer. So go to your PC and go to a directory or a folder that you want to create a share folder. I'm just going to do it directly from C drive, temp2. And I'm going to right click on my mouse and click on new and click on folder. And in here we give the folder a name. So I'm going to make it easy. I'm just going to say S21 share folder. share docs remember share documents all right so after that we're going to right click on it and then you want to go down and click on properties so click on properties and then click on the share button and in here we're going to click on advanced sharing next we click on share this folder now give the folder a name you can name it anything that you like I'm going to leave it as the default and then click on permissions. Next, you need to add a username in here. So if your computer username is admin, you would use admin. So click on the add button and then I'm going to put in my username, my admin. Now this can't just be any random username. It has to be a user that is available on your Windows 10 computer. That is the username you use to log in to your computer. Now click on the check names to make sure this username is valid. If it is valid, it sh should show something like this right here with your computer name, backslash, and then your user account. Next, click on the OK button and click on that username and grant full control to the folder. And then click on Applied, click on OK and then click on applied click on ok and next we need to click on the security tab at the top and then in here you want to uh, click on my admin so I'll click on edit and then add in my admin so if my admin is not showing up in here you can click on the add button so let's see if i remove this one so at the moment it does not let me delete because it is an inherit permission from a parent folder. So because I have inherited this username from the parent folder, so I don't need to, but if it's not in here, you would click on the add button. And again, you put in my admin like this, and then you click on okay. And in here, you want to click on that. And then in here, you want to grant full control. So grant full control and click on okay and then click on OK or close. So click on close and now we have the folder have been uh, created and it is going to be shared. Now we go back to the mobile phone. Okay so on the mobile phone device on the Galaxy S21 we're going to on the home screen we're going to swipe up and then tap on the Samsung folder in app screen and tap on my files my files is a file manager allowing you to manage files on your device and go back to the my files home screen next tap on storage um, network storage and then tap on add network storage then choose network drive smb and now it will look for an available share folder on your wi-fi network and then in here we're going to choose on the computer name that you have the share folder on now all this information is, is automatically populated based on the information that it has searched through your network. All you have to do is put in your username and password. So in here, the username is myadmin, for example. Your username may be something different. So put in the correct username and password. Now once you put in the account password, tap on the add button. 
and then you can also tap on the save button if you want to save or not now now in here you may have one or several uh, available folders that you can see now because i have shared a few folders that's why it is showing up for different folders in here one of the folder is the one that we have created called s21 share docs so if you tap on that you are now being able to access this folder now in here if you tap on the more button you can sync you can create folders and there is also a settings uh, options that you can tap on now okay so once you have connected to this folder how do you transfer the data over to this share folder so let's take a look now i'm going to go back to my uh, home screen by tapping on the home button and let's say i want to copy say um, images so i tap on images in camera i'm going to select one or two images a few images and then i'm going to tap on uh, copy so it is now copy and i'm going to tap on the home button and in here i'm going to tap on network storage and then tap on the computer name and then tap on the folder and then tap on copy here so it is now being copied if we go back to my computer i'm going to open up this folder and you can see it has successfully copied the five files over to my computer so we can copy some more files to uh, have a look okay so i'm going to go back into my home screen and this time let's see if we can copy a large videos so here i'm going to go into say uh, animal let's just copy this video file and then i'm going to choose copy down here again i tap on the home button and then i go down to network storage and then open up the computer and then go to the share folder and i'm going to paste it here all right let's take a look now so i'm going to tap on the copy button copy here and you can see that folder is now being transferred to the computer so i can do that wirelessly i don't need to connect to the computer now this is just one of one of the ways how you can transfer data to your computer or to your share folder now there are definitely other ways many many other ways how you can uh, copy photos or any of other documents to your computer uh, one other example is to use the windows uh, link uh, to pc that option allows you to transfer data to your computer you can also use the samsung dex to transfer data to your computer you can also use a usb cable to connect directly to your computer to uh, transfer tra transfer files to your computer but this is one of the cool way how you can transfer data over to your computer wirelessly and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos